What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of FinSpecs. I'm here with local San Clemente shaper surfer, Brandon Rajanovich. Hey, hello everybody. How you doing? So Brandon went and rode these two fins. This is the Carver Large and the Julian Wilson Large, and this is FCS2. He usually rides the Carver fin, and I thought it would be really cool for him to try something different and see if he noticed anything. The board you're riding is kind of a uh, like an everyday board, basically. Yeah, it's kind of skatey, and uh, I would classify it as like a hybrid small wave board. It's got a wider outline with a swallowtail, giving it a little bite and release. Okay, and then I was surprised when you told me that you rode the Carver, because I mean, that's a big fin. Why do you choose to ride the Carver as your everyday? I think probably lack of knowledge, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> lack of exploration, I guess yeah. is a better way to say it. And um, I think, too, they work so well in my shortboards with a lot of tail rockers okay. that um, I, I, I kind of was under the impression that I could carry it over and I appreciated the large fin. But, um, you know, throughout the session, we learned a couple of things. Yeah. So now you're rethinking that theory. Yeah, absolutely. The main thing to think about is when you have a board that has a lot of rocker that you can get away with a, with a fin that has a lot of rake. And then when you have a board that has less rocker, uh, that's when you want to ride something that's a little bit more upright, has some pivot. These two fins, though, however, are definitely on the far side of the spectrum. You know, they have a lot of rake. And so that's why I thought it would be cool for you to ride them, try and see if you notice anything different by, you know, riding the Julian Wilson. And what we'll do is we'll we'll check out the footage right now, and then, you know, you can kind of talk about it, and we'll we'll see what we see, and you can tell me what you felt. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the carver. It's the large carver. That was your first wave of the day? Yeah, I hadn't quite made it out. I wanted to get my feet in the wax. The thing's tiny, but you almost you almost pulled that rotation. <laughs> Thanks. The wave disappeared on me. All right, here we go. Dropping it in, filling the fins in the board. Yeah, I like that bottom turn. Waking up. Waves were a little wonky, so I was getting some chop, but working through it. Yeah. That was a little sick ender. Yeah, cap. trying to get some release. Feel the fins. I'm like surprised actually. I mean, I saw a couple of these waves and I'm, I'm surprised you're even getting the release that you're getting, which I, honestly is a testament to like your technique. Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, those That's fins have a lot there. of drive. Like, this, that speed right there is I would say one that thing you from were the moving drive. For sure. It's probably what you like about it, especially yeah, with, I, when you have a fair amount of rocker. Kind of lanky and I like to have a lot to push off of. Nice. Oh, we got out of the water almost. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that board, is, so that thing's, what, 5'9"? Is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, it's 5'9", kind of a hybrid. It's got a little more width in the outline. Yeah. And it's kind of for these smaller waves. And that has a little less rocker than, than like, your better wave board, right? Yeah, it's got definitely flatter, more neutral rocker on the entry and as well as the tail. The tail rocker is probably two and three eighths. Two and three eighths on and, that. and yeah. you normally ride like two and a half on yeah. the better wave board. Yeah, my normal shortboard's about two and a half. Okay. Yeah. There's quite a few other people out there, so. It was kind of, was it busy? Was it crowded? It was quite busy, yeah. But we made the most of it. Yeah. And we face plants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, occasionally it kind of looks like a smidge sticky at the top. You yeah, know? quite, quite sticky. The rails are thinned out on this one, and yeah. it does catch, especially in these choppier, like bumpier conditions. It's and not really forgiving. That was yeah, sick. Yeah, that I forced the issue. And yeah, like made those it are those turns where I'm like, man, I'm surprised you're able to like get that kind of like it's, instant slide on. It seems like when I commit 100%, it lets it allows me to do it. But yeah. if there's any hesitancy or bump, I I will maybe catch. Okay. So you gotta be careful. All yeah. right, so the fins were good. I was happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there was some good They're surfing. Not bad. Without I was used to them, it. so it was kind of some familiar territory okay. for me. Now we're gonna watch the footage 
that is on the Julian Wilsons. And here we go. Okay, we're on the Julian Wilsons. Nice 360, but. Oh, behind the eight ball. Yeah. Here we go. New fans already felt a little looser. Yeah. And I could open up a little more. Kind of quicker up into the lip. I felt I the timing say, thing. It, was, it, it looks like it's it's like looser, not quite as much drive, but but more responsive, I guess. Yeah. Like okay, kind of go top to bottom a little easier. Yeah. And then here, like that was a nice tight round turn. Yeah, that was a moment where I was like, okay, these fins are, here's the difference. And it fit in the pocket a lot better. Yeah. Having, um, you know, some less rake in the fin. Give me a slightly earlier release. Ocean's just has a little texture to it. Yeah, I think there was some wind all night and it hadn't quite gone offshore and cleaned up. Um, Thank yeah, God, dude. Lowers, kind of it. it's like... There's always something to yeah, ride Yeah, exactly. There. That's like, why we kind of committed. Yeah. You know, wait for a better day or just it, go have fun because... Yep, it's usually always something about it's surfable most yeah. of the time. Yeah. Yeah, just trying to make the most of it. Oh, there's Pelican. the birds. Yeah, he's that guy was like cruising. a foot from my face. Yeah, he's like right next <laughs> to you. That was a photo bomb. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> he had a used surf sticker in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Dang. Oh, nice. We, yeah, that was sick. Didn't we didn't fall? <laughs> no, that was nice. Cool rotation. That that was like. Yeah, just I milking say that it. Was, you know? That was the heat winner right there for <laughs> sure. Yeah, giving it my all. And did you notice anything different? Did you go backside on these? You didn't, did you? Um, just that. No, not in these. To be honest, no. There was like I don't, twenty grams. And, all you know, oh, the right. surf coach is yelling at him, so I stayed on the left. Yeah. Um, but uh, sometimes it's inter interesting to see, like, if you notice, you know, backside. You know, you surf different backside. It's a different technique. It's a different way to yeah, go about like, it. Yeah, so like I always say, you know, you heel things. stomp pivot. You know, when you surf backside and then front side, right. you tend to, you know, toes Hold and rails. The toe and exactly. Release off the heel. Yeah. 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 So it's just a different in That's your power with your balance between your toe and the power you have in your heel is different. Yeah. It, it's so, so different. It's just their pressure application changes yeah. to the fin. Interesting thing is both of these fins, they, uh, they have a very similar dimensions. I wrote them down. Bases are almost identical. So the base on the Julian Wilson is 4.57 and the base on the Carver is 4.58. So that's real similar. Yeah. And then the surface area is 15.91 for the Julian Wilson, and it's 15.73 for the Carver. I that's personally, the point of difference right yeah, there, I think like, like right here, that kind of keeps your drive. And then, you know, not having as much tip, that's where it doesn't have, like have as much rake, you get your rotation. This right here, I feel like it has less surface area because it slenders up right here. A little bit more, yeah. I've noticed when you have a fin that has a lot of rake, you know, narrowing this up, it kind of helps it get off and on the rail a little bit, you know, because it does have the rake. So you kind of counter that hold by narrowing this up. Right. Rake wise though, this one is 35.8. And then this one was 37. So that's where it has more rake. And that's kind of what you were noticing the difference between the two was mainly in the rake since the base and the surface area are, are so similar i felt I, like the drive was still there which yeah. is fun yep and um but then i had that slightly different release and the fitting of of my pivot in the wave was d different and that was nice it kind of loosened it up for me it yeah kind of loosened it up it for looked me. like yeah. it it looked like it in the footage construction wise yes these are a different construction this is the performance core and this is the the julian is the air core for whatever reason we both kind of thought that the air core felt a little bit stiffer more rigid than the performance core rather than focus on the construction though i i my opinion is is that this was really just a template to template kind of comparison if these were made out of the same construction 
I believe that you would still notice the difference because of the shape of the template. So there are some benefits to having certain constructions, but overall, it's really just about the template in relation to the board you're riding, and that is where you can make a difference. You would probably ride this when you have a more open face point break. Like if lowers was really if it good was very and more clean open and, up. and big, and sometimes the bigger it gets, the mushier it gets. Yeah. Or, or the or the you know you get a big open wall and you need to carry your speed right and that helps do that i could see how you like this fan especially with your everyday board having two and three eighths tail rocker that's still generous the rake really draws your turns out you know yeah and and so and i like that i like to draw right it feels good to hold a turn and that helps with the holding and drawing out yeah to I, me that drive and uh stability that i get from it makes like it makes me feel like i'm surfing stronger i yeah. guess you could say because there's so much pushback it you have to push quite hard to make it work and right so your surfing feels good and strong and and when i when i downsize and fin sometimes I, I, I i'm afraid of maybe losing that but i learned that um you know with a similar base yep and maybe a slightly different uh rake you can hold you can still hold with plenty of drive and have quite kind of a different experience off the lip and up in the pocket right when, when you switched over, I saw like a tighter, you know, rotation and I felt like I saw a little bit more roundness. Uh, the day we filmed, it was two to three feet. So pretty small on yep. the range, on the scale. So then this Julian fit very well in the pocket, especially with a little bit of wonk in the wave and allowed me to get dirty in the pocket when I yeah. wanted to, you know, as opposed to kind of feeling sticky and a little too drawn out for the small wave. But yeah, as the waves get smaller, I think I, I would appreciate would the Julian? more. Yeah, the right. Julians. Or, or like say a beach break, maybe where you have a smaller area to, to the pockets tight, yeah. and I need to react faster and fit better. Yeah, yeah, tighter. What we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate the mystery of the differences in the templates. We're trying to build a spectrum from stiffest to towards loosest, and this is so that when you have a fin that you're riding and you want to feel more drive or you want more pivot, then you can go to one side of that fin in the direction that you're you're wanting to get and- Kind of and apply it where you need and when you need for exactly. board and situation. Yeah, so it, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people talk about their boards being the thing that is the main component of the performance. And yes, it is, it's the base. The, yeah, the dominant right. force. What's interesting about this is, you know, Brandon obviously already noticed a difference in the same board he's riding, and it's really just because he changed his fin template. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to kind of encourage people to do is explore the fin templates when you want to dial in your board you know, so that you can get the most performance out of it. Or yeah. for range of application, beach break versus point break, which is yeah. what you so talked he, about. There's two great reasons to have an idea of the spectrum of what the different shapes and fins um, and the effects that they produce. Yeah, exactly. Building out the spectrum is the next template that you're gonna ride. It's gonna be the JS nice. and the DHD. Nice, we're heading to Australia. Yeah. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> and I win. No. <laughs> if someone wants to get a hold of you on Instagram, that's Rag Surfboards. Okay. And I'm based out here in San Clemente. Cool. So you can check out his shapes on his Instagram. Our fin demo program, if you can, come by the store. We have a, it's five fins for five weeks, one fin at a time per week. And that's five bucks. Wow. It's super cheap. You can try out all these different fin templates. And then once you decide on the fin that you want to get, you can, we'll apply that $5 towards the purchase. Wow. So. It's, yeah, that's a lose. great deal. You can't lose. And then if you're not able to make it to the store, go online. If you purchase any fins, we do a buy, try, and decide program where you're able to buy the fins, try them for up to 30 days. And then if you don't like them, you can return them really? and we'll give you a refund. Man, I don't know. I don't know anyone that's doing this kind of stuff, right? You can't go wrong with that. So, yeah, if, so you're going to be happy no matter what. Exactly. Can't see how you could pass it up if you want to try some different fin sets. You can't lose. Check that yeah. out. And then if you can, just come by the shop. We got some of uh, Rag surfboards in there. There's I've a, couple a couple of, couple in, the, yeah. in the rafters and the racks. And we got about 700 others in the shop. So if you can, come by and check it out. 
And uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you on the next episode. Hit us in the comments with any questions you got in regards to this particular fin comparison. Thanks. Awesome. And we'll see well, you thank soon. you guys so much and thank you. Yeah, man. I really appreciate you coming by. Yeah, I love fun. the surfing, love the shapes, and uh, we're thank gonna you. see more in yeah. the second uh, episode. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see more, we're gonna feel more, and we're gonna FCS use more too. fans and we're gonna become more knowledgeable. Let's do it. Thanks. Stay what's up to part show Go to the store by my wooden train